Bronwyn, we, we really are delighted uh, with our year end. Um, we increased our EBITDA by 19% and we grew NPAT by 12%. And robust results of, of this nature are, are really driven by strong performance in our core business units. And a large part of the revenue um, during the period largely reflected the increased market volatility. So I, I really genuinely have to thank the staff and our market participants, as well as my leaders, in delivering value in a time of, of genuine uncertainty and enormous economic pressure. Um, we are very comfortable that we've demonstrated adaptiveness, resilience, and that our core business um, supports growth into the future. Um, when we think about the business model, um, we are very clearly cash generative and financially resilient. And um, operationally, we were able to adapt very quickly during the uh, downturn, um, during the lockdown. Um, there was no downtime. Um, our clients continued to operate and um, we demonstrated very strong regulatory responsiveness. And uh, so I'm really grateful to the market participants for their support during what has been uh, undoubtedly the most volatile and most difficult year of probably most of financial market participants' careers. Leila, you are in the unique position of being at the heart of business here at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. You must have engaged many business leaders of the companies listed on the exchange over this period. What is the overriding sentiment that you are feeling in so far as, as the future is concerned? Look, Bronwyn, um, there was there were some green shoots coming out of the budget speech. Of course, the global markets are, have been tumultuous. South Africa has been through not only a pandemic, we've been through a downgrade, we've been through the ejection of, from the World Government Bond Index, um, we've been through deep valleys and highs, and we ended the year in a positive territory. So insofar as financial markets go, we're in a good position. We're experiencing north of 20% um, increase in value traded year to date, which I wasn't expecting. That took me by surprise. And um, we have a resilient society. So I am pleased with the direction of travel in uh, Tito's budget. And um, I do believe that there is a much stronger public private sector partnership. So I'd say that the, the major focus that we need to, to think about is policy certainty, job growth, and um, managing corruption. And if we're able to do that, I, I believe that we, we have an opportunity to turn the economic cycle. Lela, one of the uh, uh, comments detracting from the JSC is really some of the, the market commentators and analysts feeling that there is limited choice in the South African listed environment. What is your response? Well, my response would be that um, our market tends to focus very exclusively on the top 40 market, uh, on the top 40 stocks. Now, we have deep liquid markets, far, far deeper and more liquid than our, exist, than our emerging market peers. We're the 19th largest exchange by market cap. And many of those stocks are primary deal listed, um, which punch way above our real economy weight. That said, I think where we have room to grow as a market and in our risk appetite in investing is in the mid cap uh, range. So we've seen a tremendous rebounding of our Alt X market year to date, north of 30% um, increase. But our mid cap market remains illiquid. Those uh, shares remain depressed in their valuation. And we really do need to start stimulating more of a uh, diversity of investor base. We are highly institutional and we have very little retail participation in our market. So we as the exchange, together with our market participants, really do need to do more to educate um, and increase financial literacy and to try and encourage savings on the exchange by, um, uh, by the man in the street. That will diversify and, and expand liquidity. 
Dr. Leila Fari, thank you so much for joining us here on the Nielsen Network. Always a pleasure.